Hi guys, this is AC Game. I'm back with another video on Snowbreak. Now, in today's video, what I want to do is focus on the revenue, so the amount of money Snowbreak was able to earn within the first 10 days of release. So currently, it is the 1st of August and Snowbreak was released on the 20th of July. So we have the revenue amounts. I'm going to be using two different sources, Sensory Towers as well as App Magic. And I'm not going to lie, I'm slightly disappointed with the amount of money they earned. I'm not going to lie, it is a good amount. Don't get me wrong. Very, very good amount but I feel like the game is so good that it should have earned a lot more than the amount of money that earned so I'm just I'm kind of figuring out why that happened so I'm going to talk about some of the issues, issues sorry and reasons why they weren't able to earn as much as I thought and uh, what I think the future holds for the game so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more content on snow break I would love to hear your own opinion towards the amount of money they earned do you think it's great do you think I'm just being nitpicky do you think I'm just having too much of a high expectation I'd like to hear your opinion down in the comment section stay tuned for more content on snow break make sure that post notification is on so that you guys can Get notified when i make a new video on the game and if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and click the like button now i will be making a lot more content on the game so make sure you are subscribed i've seen a lot of people watch my content but are not subscribed to the channel you guys are going to be missing out on future videos that i make on snow breaks so to make sure you guys don't miss out make sure you are subscribed to the channel okay let's get right into it so now let's start with sensory towers so sensory towers has listed that uh, snow break earns about 500k from apple and 500k from android now that i think about it since they do have a pc client i don't know if you can actually buy from the pc client that could have affected the amount of money that earns because sensory towers only takes into account the um, google play store and app store so it doesn't include um, pc client so maybe that's why the value is a little bit lower than i expected but in total they earned over 1 million in revenue in the first 10 days now you guys are probably saying wait that is good right well i feel like okay think about um, previous games that got released so taking a look at brandos 2 brandos 2 was released on the 21st of uh of 21st of june and uh, 10 days afterwards they earned over 2 million same situation they did have a lot of issues but i feel like the devs were a lot more generous and it made a lot more people feel like the devs are willing to listen and a lot of people were um willing to spend money in the game fast forward to um to snow break same 10 days they only earned about 1k or 1 million i think maybe because a lot of people went in and they saw the rates being the same as genshin impact probably threw them off realizing that they would have to spend a lot in this game and they weren't really willing to do that and it could also be the fact that the game had several issues on at launch stopping people from actually playing the game and obviously if you're not able to play the game or you struggle to actually play the game due to some of the issues you're obviously not going to spend money in it since you're not going to be able to play it at all so this could have been a, ma a major reason or some of the factors that could have stopped the game from earning as much as it could have because i honestly feel like in the first 10 days if everything went perfectly fine for them and went well, they advertised the game, they should have easily gotten 5 million because this game is so unique. You don't have any other gacha game like this on the market. They could have occupied a niche aspect in the gacha game sphere, but unfortunately, due to lack of advertisement as well, I feel like it kind of held them back because I honestly did not see a single, single snow break um, advert and if you go over to the snow break um, reddit you'll see a lot of people also mention like what is wrong with this game like why is there no adverts for it why don't i see that many people talking about the game a lot of people were saying it's probably because many people are just focused on the game trying to progress and whatnot but i feel like that is not really the main reason why no one is talking about this game it's simply because the devs didn't really advertise it as well as they could have um i feel like the only people who talked about this game was content creators and that's the only way you really found the game adverts were not existent i don't see any like ads playing on on youtube which is the easiest way to get people to play your game this is such a niche market they need to actually start spending money on advertisement they would easily get so many people into the game now maybe they waited for a week to get the amount of revenue they earned and then see if it's worthwhile to invest fully into the game so that they can start you know using adverts i feel like now that you've seen you've able to earn about 1 million in the first 10 days you definitely need to start advertising the game i feel like that's one of the main issues with the game there's no adverts for this game now Brandos 2 also had that as well. There was no adverts for the game, but it was still able to earn over 2 mil. I feel like obviously the devs were just very, very generous listening to the players, showing that they're actively listening 
um, having a full on dialogue with the players as well so many developer notes now we did have a developer note a bunch of updates happen in slow break but i still feel like they weren't really trying to connect to us as a player they could have released a dev note saying we understand some of the frustration here is they give they did give us like free summons whatnot but having that dialogue between your players would have been very very nice so that a lot of your players will go over to other people um other channels or other reddit pages you know snowbreak is a game that uh, the devs are listing the devs are giving out a bunch of resources and brandos 2 is like that brandos 2 is successfully captured the market in terms of everyone is enjoying the game like you won't find anyone hate on the game or developers because they actually listen so i feel like in snow break this game is fantastic this is such a niche game that so many people should be willing to play this game so many people should be willing to spend money in this game maybe they went too hard on the um pity system or maybe they went too hard on like the aspects that felt a little bit genshin impact ish in terms of like the, the, the summons because every time i talk to someone or whenever i saw my comment section initially when the game was released a lot of people were mentioning how the genshin impact rate was terrible the amount of um, dg cash we got was horrible and whatnot so obviously the gacha aspect played a huge part but I, at the same time, please devs, just listen, advertise your game. This game will get so many people playing. Honestly, this is such a good game. Um, and the fact that this game is also going to be having future banners very, very soon. Like in the next like three days, we should get an announcement for the next banner we're going to be getting. So we need to see the revenue for that character as well. So stay tuned for more content on Snowbreak. I would like to hear your opinion. And do you agree with what I said? So that is the Snowbreak revenue from um, Sensory Towers. So they actually got a lot of downloads as well. So they got about 600k downloads from um, apple and 600k from android which is actually very very good but it looks like not many people were willing to spend that was the main issue maybe because they were able to download but weren't able to actually enter the game could have been an issue stopping people from playing and it could have been like they saw the, how the rates are they already play genshin impact already play on kai star rail they weren't really ready to spend a lot of money into this game as well that could have been another factor okay let's go ahead and take a look at app magic which is another um website that i use to take a look at the revenue so like i said i honestly feel like this game could have easily gotten five mil within the first 10 days in fact i'm hoping at the end of august i want them to actually earn over five mil if they can't well okay right now they've earned one mil i'm hoping at the end of um, august when we get the new banner we should hopefully at least get five mil for everyone to be, be like okay this is a good amount now hopefully they're able to earn up at least over 500k consistently every single month that's what i'm hoping um because if they can't then i'm gonna be a little bit worried with the future but i think right now the game is doing great okay so going over to app magic it actually tells us which region we're spending a lot in the game so in total it also showed that uh, for revenue it's about 1 million um obviously like i said pc client isn't taken into account here just in case people do spend it on the pc clients or they spend through like the pc website i don't know how they actually do it because i actually haven't seen how to spend in the game through my pc client i usually spend through my google play store so taking a look at the region that's um spent a lot in the game so 39 percent of the revenue was from japan 21 percent was from the united states which is a huge huge surprise because the western market don't usually spend a lot in gacha game the um like japan the asian region usually uh, spend a lot more so the philippines the um, J japan um, korea china they usually spend a lot more in uh, gacha game but uh yeah so japan 39 percent United States 21, South Korea at 18% and the rest of the regions are kind of low. So I feel like um, in terms of advertisement, they definitely have a market in the United States. So I hope they advertise the game there. Um, I feel like more advertising would be better because that's how Genshin Impact managed to uh, get a lot of um, people playing the game. They advertise like crazy, basically just copy Raid Shadow Legends as well. The game is ass. But uh, the game has a lot of money being pumped into it, a lot of money being given to the game as well. So like maybe advertise like crazy and you will get, uh, you'll see a bunch of increase in revenue. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more content on Snow Break. Tell me down in the comment section. I would like to have a discussion on why uh, you think the revenue is good, why you think the revenue could be improved on. One million is not bad. I'm actually being dead ass serious. It's actually very, very good. I'm just 
because maybe it's because i love this game so much that i feel like it could have easily gotten like two mil three mil four mil if they actually advertised it well it's such a niche game that a lot of people will be willing to play it it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out